today I want to just take a couple minutes and look at basic navigation in Pocket Bible for the Mac. And we're going to look at uh, three different types of books, Bibles, commentaries, and dictionaries, and give you some ideas on how to get around. Let's start in the Bible. I have the King James Version open here, and in my study panel over on the left, I'm sitting in the uh, Go To tab. Now, if I was somewhere else, I could select Go To from the toolbar, or again, if I was somewhere else, I could do a Command G, which you're not going to be able to see, but Command G also takes us to Go To. Basic navigation is easy in a Bible. We just type the verse reference we want to go to. So let's go to Psalm 23. I just type PS 23 and hit enter. This takes me to Psalm 23. And as you can see here in the upper right, it also scrolls my commentary to uh, the passage that it has on Psalm 23. I can also navigate by pulling down these lists of books, chapters, and verses. Now, for most of us, this actually would just slow us down, and we're probably not going to navigate this way. But uh, people who are less familiar with the Bible find it uh, a little bit easier if uh, we limit their selections to only the books, chapters, and verses that actually exist. So to go to John 3.16, I select John, and then chapter 3, and then verse 16. And as soon as I do that, it takes me there. If I want to quickly just go to a different book, I can grab that book here, say Obadiah, and just hit enter, and it'll quickly take me to Obadiah. Once again, you see that the commentary in the upper right is scrolling along with the Bible. And that's a setting that we have uh, control over. We could just quickly take a look at that if we go to Pocket Bible, Preferences, and then go to uh, this General tab. This first option here, Make All Bibles and Commentaries Move in Response to Changes in the Active Bible, is the one that affects that behavior. I have that turned on. So that's basic navigation in a Bible. Once you've been to a verse, you can select it from this list of recent verses and very quickly uh, go back to a verse you previously visited. Over here in our commentary, um, we have a table of contents that we can navigate by selecting chapters and particular passages. But the quickest way to get around in a commentary is again to just enter the book, chapter, and verse on which you want to see the commentary. So since we're sitting in Psalm 23 in our Bible, we go to Psalm 23 in the commentary by just typing Psalm 23 in the field at the top of the study panel, and our commentary goes there. In a dictionary, like here we have Easton's Bible Dictionary, again we have a table of contents that we could navigate this way, which would be kind of slow, or we can simply uh, type the word that we want to look up in the dictionary to get there fairly quickly. So I can type Abraham. As soon as I see it, I can just hit enter. And my window in the lower right takes me to the article on Abraham in Easton's Bible Dictionary. One of the interesting things about um, Pocket Bible is over here on the Find tab. We use the, the Find tab, obviously, to look up uh, words and phrases. So I might a few words. I might remember a few words out of a verse, uh, like faith comes by hearing. I enter that, and Pocket Bible goes off and searches for that. And as you know, uh, the searches are rather sophisticated. So in this case, the KJV uses the word cometh instead of comes. And so it's able to find what I was talking about, even though I couldn't remember exactly how it was worded in the... Uh, in the King James Version, and then I can click on that verse to see the verse in its context. But one of the other interesting things about this uh, search dialog when we're looking at a Bible is that I can just type a, a Bible reference like John 3.16, and even though I typed it in as if I was trying to find the text John 3.16 in the Bible, the program knows that since this is a Bible, I probably meant to just go to John 3.16, and rather than argue with me about it, it just takes me there. I can do the same thing um, over here in a commentary. If, uh, if I enter Psalm 23, 
what I'm actually doing is looking for all references to Psalm 23 in this commentary. But since it is a commentary, the first result that I see is, did you mean go to? In other words, did you mean to go to the commentary on John 20, or Psalm 23? And then it takes me there just in case that's what I intended. But you'll also notice that uh, in this case, for a commentary, it says Psalm 23 is referenced in these places. And if I go here, I can probably find right there where Psalm 23 is referenced in uh, this particular passage, which happens to be uh, in the commentary on uh, Song of Solomon. Similarly, in a dictionary, when I search for a word in the dictionary like faith, it will first show me the article on faith and take me to that article, assuming that that's really what I meant to do, since I'm looking in a dictionary that has an article on the word faith. But it also will perform a search for the word faith and show me those results everywhere they occur. So I could go to a particular um, article in here and find the word faith in that article. So those are just uh, some ways of moving around in Bibles and commentaries and dictionaries using both the GoTo tab that allows you to navigate by the table of contents or by entering uh, a word in a dictionary, a Bible verse in a commentary, or a Bible verse in a Bible. And we also looked at the Find tab where we can search for words, but depending on the type of book we're in, Pocket Bible might also show us relevant material uh, that is uh, related to the type of book that we're in. So if we look for a Bible verse in a Bible, it's going to take us to that verse rather than do a search. Or if we do a, a look up for a word in a dictionary, it's going to take us to the article on that word rather than uh, just doing a search for the word everywhere that it occurs in the dictionary. I uh, hope that helps you get a little bit more out of Pocket Bible, and I'll be back with more.